title is Ards of Steel. Um, it is the world's largest reusable burning aardvark sculpture um, created for the OES uh, Community Oregon Episcopal School. Unfortunately, they don't want to burn him. So um, as part of a product test before delivery, um, I need to assure that um, this aardvark would survive if there was, for example, an unfortunate uh, fire at his storage location at the school. So I really consider this part of good product testing, good product delivery as a sculptor. Well, um, Karen and I, Karen, we need to get this guy outdoors because I think it's probably a bad idea to light him on fire while he's in the studio. Um, probably weighs about oh, 150 pounds or so. And basically just want to get him out away from trees in the hole. So I'm thinking out here a little ways. And that looks good. I'm an aardvark till I die. I would rather be an aardvark than a tree from Catlin High. So the idea here um, I don't know if I explained this in the studio, was originally that he would be stuffed, paper mache painted, and then lit on fire. Um, so, so we have a, a poor facsimile since he's not, um, <coughs> although I have to say, I kind of like him with the paper inside of him. But anyway, I think, I think it's time to um, let this puppy burn, so to speak, and to see how he does. Well, uh, we can burn start, our burn. start with the yeah. nose, maybe go for the private part. <laughs> um, <laughs> see, see how they do. <laughs> um, get her, get a little, get a you might need a little air. Roasted aardvark testy. Uh, some tail action here. He's smoking now. No. <laughs> He's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rear. Oh. Right. This is, Mark, gas. Okay. this is of course. <laughs> this is of course He's my first. Uh, it's been so humid. Oh my God! This is this is like poetic oh in gosh. itself. Your neighbors are gonna <laughs> call in the fire truck. I, I did tell the neighbors about. Looks it. like he has a bad case of gas. No, what about right the now? front side? He ate something. The snout. It is snout. Yeah, it needs a snout. Yeah, his nose went out. Needs a his nose went out. I'm sorry. I got his nose. He's got an odd ass. <laughs> okay, no profanity though. He's gonna start galloping across the lawn in a minute. Oh my gosh. Now, He's one smoking a, a, after we get done with this, did you get your beer? <laughs> God, this that, is like not this is good working. for the air pollution. Uh. For the inversion that we currently have. <laughs> yeah. Now it's clear enough. No backyard fires. There we go. Oh my God. Look no. at him go. Oh, it's even better than I expected. <laughs> oh, that is so, wonderful. So once we get it done. Is. Now, Once we get done, we're going to clean them up and decorate them with Christmas lights. And a Santa well, you're hat. You're going to let him cool off. And a Santa hat. Yeah, no, we're going <laughs> to let him cool off first. And uh, put a Christmas tree right on top. Of and, you know, that's the beauty is he can be redecorated on, you know, like a seasonal theme, which, or he okay. can be... Easter Bunny fur. I think there's a ton of possibilities. You could, here. you could, you could stuff them. You could have the giving aardvark. You could have presents put in them. You could put, um, stuff it with dead Mayans for Columbus Day. <laughs> <laughs> dead what? Mayans. <laughs> I, I, I think those would be. I think those would be Very Dominicans. Funny. Actually, would be the proper. Wow. That, that looks nice. This that really nice. worked great. Good design. Wow. Will it melt? <laughs> like the, like the I knew I shouldn't have made it out of wax. <laughs> that works quite nicely, Phil. Yeah, very good. 
I gotta say, a few little fire poppers in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was really considered. Nice. You also put some noise. <laughs> you could put some logs in there, you know, in the center. And then yeah. the logs would just keep burning. Yeah, a couple of little sparklers. And he needs a little a door poppers. opener to put the logs in. Trap door. Well, he's now a, a the, slave. The, I do have to say, person in the background whose name I cannot say, um, is, uh, does make quite a column of yeah, debris. <coughs> hot debris. Let's hope none of your nice trees get caught up. Certainly if you uh, fertilizer. Did, this, did this on the grounds of an institution, you'd want to have it out in the open. And on a windless day, uh -oh. as you on a, on a windless day out in the open. Like in the middle of a 200 yard field? Is that kind of or the perfect? Backyard. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. A 200 well, yard field? What would happen if you filled it with sawdust? Yeah, that, that. Isn't that kind of what, what would fit? Work yeah, you know, right you just middle? you just put like a thermal blanket down underneath to protect the lawn and uh, how much rod went into that though. <laughs> I mean, I, I estimated the rod three times. You know, I was back at the steel yard. Uh, Couple of hundred, couple of hundred feet more of that stuff. Wow, know? that's amazing. How much was it then? I mean, how much, how many yards? Do you remember? I probably, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if there's about 500.